On the mound for the San Diego Padres is Sean Manaya. And as Donnie mentioned, he's making his sixth start, the 30 year old. His third start here at Petco Park, his first career against the Marlins. Jesus Aguilar now digging into the right hand batter's box. 0 oh, 2 is a swing and a miss. Lead on the 94. Fastball was up and he gets his first strikeout of the night to Sean Manaya. Uno dos, adios. Fly ball headed to left field where Jerickson Profar waits for it to come down. It does and he catches it. It's a 1 2 3 first. Padres are coming up. Making his sixth start of the season, coming off his shortest start of 2022. Only the fifth time in the last 25 outings going back to last year, of course, where he has allowed more than two earned runs. And Kim batting second again tonight for the second time this season in Bob Melvin's lineup. Swing and a miss, and Kim strikes out. So Lopez comes back to get him. First strikeout for Lopez. And one down here in the first inning. Marlins shifting on the left side here on Manny Machado. Line into left field. A base hit for Machado. Up to second goes Cronenworth, and the Padres have runners at first and second with one away. Base is loaded with two outs here in the bottom of the first inning, and Trent Grisham with a chance to put the Padres on the board first. Pablo's 1 0 pitch is popped up right at Miggy. It will settle into his glove. So Pablo works into and out of a base loaded jam in the first. Score. What do you pitch for, Manaya? Fly ball to shallow left. Profar running over towards the line, and that'll end up in the seats. Nice catch by the youngster. You go get him. Yeah, show it off. Good for you, kiddo. Look at the smile. He's a left hander too Donnie Went a long way to get that nice. Oh that's got to be the greatest feel. I, I think he surprised himself that it landed in his glove. Well, and two strikes here to Jorge Soler elevates and Soler strikes out. It's been a good pitch for him a fastball that's up. It's a sinker but it's elevated yeah. and Soler becomes a second strikeout victim for Sean Manaya. This one out to right field and Beatty can't make the play. Miggy's on his way to second. Beatty a little slow to get up. Miggy gets credit for a double. Uh, Beatty tried to time it, lunged out, tried to make the catch, could not, and may have hurt himself in the process. Frazier, the trainer, headed out. Bob Melvin making his way out to right field as well. Watch the left shoulder, the glove side when he lands. And it looks like he is coming out of this game. Uh, Zokar will head out to right field. He does, and he strikes out De La Cruz. Ends up striking out the side. Inning and a half done without a score from San Diego. And here's the first big league at bat of Joe Dunan. Dunan, 26 years old, a Miami native. Marlins took him in the second round of the 2017 draft. He makes his major league debut here tonight and sends a fly ball out to left field. It spins Profar back. It's deep, and welcome to the show. Don't you know, Joe makes it 1-0. I guess that's a good way to start your major league baseball career. Get a pitch out over the plate and leave the yard. Singles, doubles, triples, who cares about that? Just get a pitch and hit your first one out of the ballpark. Congratulations on your first major league hit. That is awesome. Miguel Rojas dropped a double into right field his first time up. He bats with two on and one out here in the fourth inning. Marlins lead it 1-0 on Joe Dunan's first career home run, his first hit in his first A.B. 0 oh and 2. Swing and a miss and he strikes out Rojas. Make it seven strikeouts for Sean Manaya. It is unbelievable. Well out of the zone with the two seamer and they cannot hold up. Broken back grounder to third base. Kim will go to first for the out that will wrap up the fourth inning. The Marlins will strand two. Three and a half done. One nothing Miami. Zokar broken bat to left it'll fall. Grisham will stop at second base as Zokar is aboard with a base hit and the Padres have runners at first and second with two down. And now the number nine man C.J. Abrams with first and second two down. And Abrams grounds one up the middle to his right jazz has it a flip to Miggy and Miggy a stretch to get the out. Jazz a little casual on that flip and he almost <laughs> sailed that ball into left field. But Miggy made the play to get out of the inning. 
Joe Dunan, the nephew of Alex Rodriguez, has homered in his first major league at bat. Was just looking this up, Rod. It took Uncle Alex 103 at bats at his first major league home run. That's down the line, and it is going to get down. Extra bases for Dunan. Well, he's halfway to the cycle in his major <laughs> league debut. And now it's up to Garrett Cooper to come through and save this inning. 1-2 to Cooper is a line drive to left. Coop delivers. That's going to roll to the wall and bring home two huge two-out runs. Garrett Cooper pulls in at second base with a double, and it's 3-0 Marlins. See that green glove that he's wearing? It's Oakland A's colors. He really didn't have enough time. Oh, that's off the bat. What a play by Kim. Oh, my goodness. But the throw is wide. Absolutely had no business making that play. I don't know how. He got leather on that ball. Kim almost made one of the most remarkable plays you'll ever see. He's got to make the adjustment. He's anticipating that ball being down near the ground. What an effort. Eric Hosmer to lead things off here, last of the sixth. Pablo Lopez gets the strikeout. He beat him with a fastball. That's his fourth K in the first out here in the sixth. Pablo seems to have settled down, and I'm sure that Seven pitch inning in the fifth energized him. One ball and two strikes on Profar, and he goes down looking. Back to back strikeouts. That's five for Pablo tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, yep. Yeah, that was pretty good right there. Fly ball left field. Back goes Soler near the wall. Has room to make the catch. And Grisham is retired. Another 1-2-3 inning for Pablo Lopez. That's eight in a row retired by Lopez. Marlins have a 3-0 lead after six. He's been great. And this is the fourth time through the lineup. So, again, you still want to be aggressive. It's 3-0. You have the lead. You are in the driver's seat. As Anthony Bender warming in the Marlins bullpen as this one is rolled to second base. Jazz has it, and Pablo gets through seven. Fired up, seven scoreless innings. Marlins by three. So for the 12th time in Pablo's career, he completes seven innings of work. As some raindrops begin to fall here at Petco Park. Kim, Machado, and Hosmer, ground ball. That's Joey Wendell, and he makes the play. 1-2 pitch, Hosmer bouncing ball toward Jazz, has it, and goes to first. And for the second time in Pablo's career, he's through eight innings. Scoreless work tonight for Lopez. But uh, great pass, though. Yeah. Not a good split for Lamette. Brings home a 2-2 pitch. Jazz, right field line, fair ball. That's going to be some insurance. In comes De La Cruz. And they stop Stallings on the double by Jazz. 4-0 Marlins. And now the bases are loaded with two outs for Jorge Soler. Without a grand slam in his career, this one is shot to left. That's the first grand slam for Soler. And this ball game is blown wide open. Well, that's what happens. You put the graphic up and you say no grand slams. And what happens? Jorge Soler says, yeah, you know what? Throw me that first pitch fastball. I'm going to leave the yard exit stage left and put another four on the score for the old fish. Series finale tomorrow. Then the Marlins will head out to Phoenix to take on the Diamondbacks for three. Out towards center. De La Cruz is there. Makes the catch. It's a Marlins win. Nothing near a one-run game tonight. Nothing near a defeat as the six-game losing streak mercifully comes to an end.